Today we're going to go through the setup of the NKB1000E network keyboard. Let's get to it. The setup that we have here is that we have the NKB1000E. We have an ethernet cable which goes back to the rest of the network and it's being powered by a 12 volt power supply. We have a NVR5216, which the NKB1000E will connect to through a network protocol. And we also have an SD5A, which is connected to the recorder. And what we're going to do is connect this keyboard to the recorder. And then this keyboard, we have to control this PTZ through its channel number on the recorder. During this, I'm also gonna show you how to connect this network keyboard straight to the PTZ without using the recorder. When you start up the keyboard, you'll be greeted by the date and time. If you press enter, this will then bring you to the initialization menu. Because first of all, you won't have a password set. So this is where you'll need to set your password. So if we press enter, we can now set a username and password. So we will just set for testing purposes, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, shift, which will then change that to letters. So if we just make it A, and down here, we change it back to numbers, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, shift A. It needs to be eight characters and be a mix of numbers and letters. So if you press OK, that has now been initialized. So now, once we've initialized it, we need to enter that same password. So let's make sure it's in numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, shift A, enter. And now we're on the main screen for the keyboard. Upon entering the keyboard menus, you'll be greeted with zone control and menu settings. If we go to the menu settings and go to the system, we can set the time, NTP and network from here. So for the purpose of this video, I have DHCP on so that I know that this keyboard now has the same IP range as both the recorder and also the camera here. So if I press escape, go back to the main menu. If I go back into menu settings, you'll see this. So I want to set a zone now. So if I set a zone with ID one, name can be, set it to letters again, test. Type, we can go through the type. So we've got MVR, matrix, DVRs or SD, which is the speed dome, which is directly the camera. But for this, we're gonna to go to an MVR. We're gonna do it through a network link. The IP address of the MVR, which I already know. And then this is the username and password for the recorder. So that's our username and the password here, which we're gonna enter now. Now that we have set up our zone, we can go back to the main menu. We have zone control and menu settings. Zone control. So the zone we set up had an ID of one. So we wanna to connect to that. Now it's connecting to the MVR. We know it's connected because it's not throwing up any errors. So now we're currently connected. We can control the screen. If we want to go straight to the PTZ, we can press one, and cam, that will take us to camera one. And if we want to use the PTZ controls, we can press one and PTZ, which then gives us the PTZ menu. So if we move the PTZ stick now, we're now in control of the PTZ. And we can move up, down, left and right. And diagonal as well is showing up on the screen whenever I put in the inputs. While connected to the PTZ, you also have access to the PTZ's functions. Uh, if we press one and press preset, it will then call preset one. If we press two and preset, it will then also call preset two. Additional features while connected to the PTZ that you can access using the keyboard is the iris focus and zoom features. So if you want to zoom in on this cup over here, we can zoom straight in and see it. PTZs do have something called a predictive focus algorithm within them, which means that they will try and predict which focus level you need. But if you want to adjust the focus yourself, you've also got manual options here. So we can reduce the focus or try and sharpen it up a little bit. Additionally, we also have an iris button, which controls how much light the PTZ will receive. So if you want to, we can set it all the way down or we want to increase the brightness. We can also increase it there. Because our zone is set up to connect to an MVR specifically, we can go through all the channels of the MVR. So we can go to cam, three cam, and takes us to the multiple channels. 
Additional to this is if you want to go back to the multi view. So if you want a four split, you can go four multi, which will then bring up the four split view or eight multi, which bring up the eight, nine multi, which then bring up the nine split. Now I'm going to set up a second zone. What the second zone will do is connect directly to the PTZ. So as long as your keyboard and PTZ are on the same network, you can connect directly to the PTZ and skip the MVR, which may be useful, especially in standalone scenarios. So if we want to control a camera specifically, we can go to menu controls, zone. We can now set up a new zone. So instead of zone one, we want it to be zone two, well, ID two. Name, we'll just call it, let's get back to letters. We'll call it PTZ. Type, speed gnome, link network, and we'll go straight to the camera's IP address. And now we'll need to enter the password for the camera. Successful. Now if we go to the main menu and go to zone control, we can select ID2 to get straight to the PTZ. So now while we don't have the recorder control, we do have straight PTZ control and we can move it as such and as necessary from there. So you don't just have to go to a recorder, you can also just go straight to the PTZ. So that's how you can connect a network keyboard to either recorder or directly to the camera. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments and I'll see you in the next video.